This is the first practical lesson for creating e-commerce website like Amazon using vanilla JavaScript. In this lesson, we are going to create folder structure and create index.html and launch that web page. Let's do that. First of all, we need to create a folder named JS Amazona in wherever you like in your computer. I'm going to create that in desktop from file menu. In VS Code, select add folder to workspace. Select desktop and select new folder JS Amazona and press enter. Then go to this folder and click on add. As you see in the right side, the Explorer section, there is a folder Amazona here. What we're gonna do at this step is to create front end folder inside JS Amazona because this project consists of two sections. The first one is front end part and the second one is for back end. In this lesson, we just focusing on uh, running the front end part. Right click, new folder, front end and press enter after that it's time to create src folder inside front end src and we are good to go for creating index.html this is the main entry point of this web application right click on src new file and set file name to index.html here i'm going to use html colon Five and press tab to create a very basic HTML structure and set title to JS Amazona. Also in the body section, I just create heading one JS Amazona. So it's time to show the result. The solution is using live dash server package on npm first of all we need to convert front end folder to npm project let's open terminal new terminal and as you see we are in the root folder js amazona cd front end and inside this folder we are going to create a npm project npm init we do this by running this and for all questions only press enter that's it as you see inside front end folder a file named package.json created and this file means that the front end folder is a node project the next step is gonna be installing live-server package to install that use npm install live-server but the point is we are going to install this as a develop dependency. It's just for development. So I set dash capital D to mention this point that we are going to use this package only in development phase. After installing this package, a new content is added to the package.json and it shows that live server dependency have been added to your project. It's time to create a start command. In the script section, press enter and set name to start. And value is this command, live server, press and space, serve src folder, and the parameter is verbos. Put a comma at the end. And by having this script, when you type npm start, index.html inside src folder will be served automatically. Let's test that. Press enter. As you see, JS Amazona is exactly the content of index.html. So what we did in this session is to create folder structure for the front end part of JS Amazona and then serve that using live server. The benefit of using live server is that when you have a change here, let's say I'm adding a new paragraph, the brand new commerce with vanilla JS and save this, automatically 
the new changes will be applied to the web browser and there is no need to refresh that manually also you have a complete log here as you see it says uh, change detect in this file and it just reload again your website great we are good to go for the next session but before that what i'm gonna do is to create a new file and set the file name to readme.md because i'm going to record all the steps of developing this web application in readme.md so here is js amazona and this is the step one of this project and here is the steps of creating folder structure lesson great for next lesson we are going to start designing website until that lesson bye bye